Put God first. Put God first in everything you do. Everything that you think you see in me, everything that I've accomplished, everything that you think I have, and I have a few things, everything that I have is by the grace of God. Understand that. It's a gift. I was sitting in my mother's beauty parlor, and I'm looking in the mirror, and I see behind me this woman under the dryer, and every time she looked up, she, every time I looked up, she was looking at me, just looking me in the eye. And I didn't know who she was, and I said, you know, she said, somebody give me a pen, give me a pencil, I have a prophecy. March 27, 1975, she said, boy, you are going to travel the world and speak to millions of people. Now, mind you, I was flunked out of college. I'm thinking about joining the army. I didn't know what I was going to do, and she's telling me I'm going to travel the world and speak to millions of people. Well, I have traveled the world, and I have spoke to millions of people. But that's not the most important thing, the success that I had. The most important thing is that what she taught me and what she told me that day has stayed with me since. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. I've kept God in my life and has kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. So stick with him in everything you do. If you think you want to do what you think I've done, then do what I've done and stick with God. Number two, fail big. That's right. Fail big. Today is the beginning of the rest of your life, and it can be, it can be very frightening. It, it's a new world out there. It's a mean world out there, and you only live once. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances. But don't be afraid to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big with you.